Julie K. Brown, Perversion of Justice, The Jeffrey Epstein Story. Perversion of Justice, The Jeffrey Epstein Story, written by renowned journalist Julie K. Brown, takes readers into the heart of a scandalous case surrounding the mysterious financier Jeffrey Epstein. More than a decade after his initial conviction for procuring an underage girl for prostitution, the questionable plea deal, and the hidden stories of his countless victims, Brown strives to uncover the truth and bring this dark saga to light. In an engaging and thorough investigation, she delves into Epstein's rise to wealth and privilege, the shocking pattern of abuse, the plea bargain's many controversies, and the aftermath of his arrest. This summary examines the twists and turns of the Jeffrey Epstein story, offering profound insights into the legal system, the pervasive nature of privilege, and the ongoing fight for justice. Uncovering the Epstein Case Author and Miami Herald reporter Julie K. Brown investigates the questionable 2008 plea deal of Jeffrey Epstein, a convicted sex offender, after uncovering dozens of victims and the involvement of Alexander Acosta, who was appointed as the U.S. Secretary of Labor by President Trump. The investigation revealed a shocking level of injustice, showcasing the need for further investigation into such cases. The Mysterious Rise of Epstein Epstein's past remains full of mysteries, but journalist Julie K. Brown unravels his story by focusing on the victims he left behind. Many women, listed as Jane does, were hesitant to share their experiences with the public, but Brown managed to track them down and tell their stories. In the process, Brown uncovered the odd career path that led Epstein from a high school graduate to a financial strategist for billionaires. Epstein's connections to powerful figures like Donald Barr, the former headmaster of the Dalton School who offered him a job, and William Barr, the current U.S. Attorney General and Donald Barr's son, have raised further questions. As Brown pieces together the story of Epstein's past, she highlights the importance of listening to the voices and experiences of those victimized by powerful men. Disturbing Revelations of Epstein's Abuse in the late 80s, Jeffrey Epstein built his fortune as a financial advisor for the world's wealthiest people, while simultaneously purchasing extravagant properties around the world. However, police reports and court records have revealed that Epstein had a consistent pattern of luring underage girls to his Palm Beach mansion, where he enticed them with money for massages and companionship. Once they arrived, the girls were asked to leave their contact information, and Epstein would expose himself and fondle them during the massages. Epstein's former girlfriend, Ghislaine Maxwell, was also involved in the scheme. The documentation of the abuse was so extensive that it took years for journalist Julie Brown to sift through them all. Police files and court records tell a story of persistent abuse. Epstein's Heinous Crimes and the Flawed Justice System the book delves into Jeffrey Epstein's heinous crimes against innocent girls, his manipulation of vulnerable teenagers, and the flawed justice system that allowed him to evade conviction for years. Jeffrey Epstein was a monster who knew how to prey on vulnerable girls, and he had a particular interest in targeting girls from low-income families. Epstein lured these girls to his mansion with the promise of money, and some returned only to discover that he intended to escalate to rape quickly. Epstein's depravity didn't end there. He would order girls to have sex with his accomplice, Ghislaine Maxwell, or with other people attending his parties. He also relied on a degrading Ponzi scheme, where the girls he recruited were expected to recruit more underage girls for him. When one of Epstein's victims contacted the police, a brave and thorough undercover investigation was launched with round-the-clock surveillance. Dozens of girls were interviewed, and they all told similar stories of being lured with cash and then sexually abused. Epstein was aware of the investigation, and his Palm Beach mansion was empty when the police arrived for the raid. Despite the abundance of evidence, the case faced resistance from higher-ups in the state prosecutor's office. Instead of presenting a strong case against Epstein, there were constant negotiations on how to reach a plea deal that suited him. Epstein was a significant donor to politicians on both sides of the aisle, which raised the question of how influential his money was in the case's mishandling. 
In conclusion, the book brings to light the heinous crimes Jeffrey Epstein committed against innocent girls, the flawed justice system that allowed him to evade conviction for years, and the need to ensure that victims of sexual abuse receive justice, no matter who the perpetrator is. Epstein's Plea Deal, A Miscarriage of Justice The authors of this report shed light on the plea deal reached between state prosecutors and Epstein's lawyers, which blocked victims from testifying against him. Prosecutors were reluctant to involve many witnesses, whose testimonies were deemed unreliable. Investigators discovered more proof and sufferers, the prosecutors inexplicably rejected. The Crime Victims' Rights Act demands that victims be advised and be granted the chance to appear in court. Nonetheless, in a secret arrangement with Epstein's lawyers, the victims were excluded from the deal. Epstein was convicted of two charges related to prostitution and handed a lenient prison sentence and sexual offender registration. Consequently, Epstein's plea deal miscarried justice, with a suspicious process raising several inquiries about fairness and justice. Epstein's Privileges Jeffrey Epstein's plea deal did not stop him from maintaining his lavish lifestyle. He paid the sheriff's office for the privilege of working from his office six days a week and being dropped off at his mansion from time to time. During his 13 months in custody, he received numerous privileges, including coercing a young woman into having sex. After his release, Epstein tried to re-establish himself as a philanthropist, but very little evidence shows that he fulfilled his promises. Despite the public's outcry against him, Epstein continued to nurture relationships with influential people and maintain his status. Brown's report reignites interest in Epstein case. In 2018, journalist Julie K. Brown's report on Jeffrey Epstein's mishandled 2008 criminal case, accompanied by a video of Epstein's abuse victims, landed during the hashtag MeToo movement and reignited interest in the case that spurred the FBI back into action. Despite intimidation tactics by Epstein's legal team, more women, including Virginia Jufri, came forward. Investigations opened, and hush money transfers were uncovered. Epstein was arrested in 2019 on charges of sex trafficking of minors and conspiracy to engage in sex trafficking of minors. The Mysterious Death of Jeffrey Epstein Jeffrey Epstein's second arrest led to a series of strange and disturbing events. After being denied bail, he was found unconscious with injuries in his cell. Despite being placed on suicide watch, Epstein was found dead the following morning. His death was ruled a suicide, but many questions remain unanswered. Over 175 victims have filed claims, with settlements of over $67 million being paid out so far. Trials are pending for his partner and accomplices. At the heart of perversion of justice, Julie K. Brown's relentless commitment to uncovering the truth uncovers the often hidden layers of the Jeffrey Epstein case. The book highlights not only Epstein's mysterious past and rise to power, but also the disturbing patterns of his repeated abuses, and the legal travesties that allowed him to enjoy periods of freedom despite the evidence against him thanks to his influence and wealth. With Brown's investigation shining a light, the renewed interest in the case led to increased public scrutiny of Epstein, eventually culminating in his second arrest. Though Epstein's sudden and unexplained death in prison still leaves many questions unanswered, Brown's story sets the stage for further hearings and trials to be held for his accomplices. This is an important testament to the pursuit of justice, the power of investigative journalism, and the need for continued accountability.